Set. Setup wise, like I say, is very, very good. Just be careful on occasions you don't lean too much on your left hand side. Oh, I think yeah. for you being a little bit left sided lean definitely helps you shot the golf ball nicely. Yeah. But it's not the more lean to the left you have, the better. There's a point where you can go too far, in which then you get too steep. It's very hard then to swing the golf club. And what will happen is there, you won't want to stay there. You'll then try to lean back the other way because your body's not right. going to want to stay that far left as you'll lose balance. Okay? Yeah. And then your body's rocking back and forth. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to problem, think okay? about that, not going over too much. So, yeah, there. but other than that, I said, for the majority of the thing, it's set up and the back swing, like we say, very, very good. You set the golf club back now nice and wide, good hinge in the wrist, and you set the golf club really, really well, okay? On the right hand side. Same again, okay? Now, the thing is, as we said, when you come from the top of the back, so now let everything, right hip, right shoulder, right knee, everything twist and rotate and follow the golf ball, okay? And this is going to be a perfect example that anyone ever tells you, keep your head down and look at the golf ball, okay? Yeah. This one on the right-hand side was the one, the last one, at 94, 94 yards? Oh, 84 right. yards, okay? Yeah. You can look at that. You look as you at the golf ball. That's you there. Are you anywhere near looking at the golf ball? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, because the body's rotating through. Perfect strike at impact. That club's coming down. Lovely strike. I mean, you're looking towards the camera or towards the screen. Yeah. Okay, releasing the body through and in balance there. So the speed of your golf swing at 60 yeah. mile an hour, or 58, 58 mile an hour, okay? Yeah. You're never going to actually see the ball hit anyway. Now, yes, you could argue that's maybe a little bit too extreme, but in some ways I prefer that than the old head down, Okay. Staying down here as long. Oh, yes. That position yeah. there. Look at the two differences in those impact, oh, yeah. post impact position there. Physically, that position there, I prefer that one on the right hand side. Then that that one there kind of looks your head's been taken off and sort of moved down to your right shoulder. Yeah, I can see the difference. That looks a very yeah. painful position to yeah. me, okay? It does. And you're going to put a lot of stress on your neck, okay? Yeah. And obviously your spine, now, if you think about your spine as it rotates through, rather than doing this and rotating together, it's doing that. Because right. the top yeah. part of your back is staying one way. So this is your top of your spine is staying here as your lower half is doing that. Yeah. So if you imagine looking at that sort of a skeletal structure, it's going to be yeah. like a Chinese bird. It's going to really kind of get someone in a position that's going to cause some pain. And like I said, How at impact, that looks, at so, impact, yeah. well, I mean, that, that's your impact position, okay? Yeah. And look at the ball, are you? No, Doesn't not matter. at all. Anna no. Kassorenstam, who's probably the best lady golfer, I mean, he would have heard of Anna Kassorenstam, I'm sure. Best lady golfer ever to exist. Arguably, maybe babes or Harris, but we're talking modern golf, okay? Yeah. That was her impact position. She was looking 20, 30 yards down the fairway every single shot because she knew she could clear her hips out of the way, clear the body, and she just trusted her technique that she knew when she came back to the golf ball, yeah. that's where the club was going to return. Now, on chipping and pitching, obviously, with a slower swing, yes, I think looking at the ball, there's going to be a little bit more of this anyway, but on full swing, when you're doing this, don't be afraid to sort of just look down where the ball's going. Well, yeah. Don't be doing that to see where the ball would have yeah. gone because it's going to slow your motion down it's going to put more stress on your back and again what will also happen is if you're staying down here your head drops this way this shoulder is going to get lower the ground's going to get nearer yes yeah, so, the ground the ground. so you lose a lot of energy with the contact in the ground first okay and then of course you try to miss the ground so then you get this oh i lifted well, you haven't that's lifted that's you just favorite, look at exactly and we all do well, we, we, we all had that sort of when we first start so Bad golfers with that technique top it, good golfers like yourself at the ground on the ball. Because you know where the golf ball is in relation to you, you hit the ground now, whereas a complete beginner when they first come, that same motion, whoop, they top the golf ball. Make sense? Yes, it does. Get yeah. more movement to the golf ball. Yeah. Don't be afraid to not look at the golf ball. I'm not suggesting very much to deliberately sort of look this way, but don't be afraid to let your body go through. Whether you're looking at the ball or not just proves you haven't got to look at it. Okay? Yeah, you can just swing it through and give it a whack and away it goes. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. Right. So Good stuff.